you so much. Thank you. Thank, oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. That response, it makes me feel so good. I'm, I'm having a good time here, but, you know, I just have to say, uh, just right off the top, that it, it has been a hard week for some prominent males from Washington State. <laughs> I think we all know what I'm talking about. Number one, Ivan the Gorilla, who uh, <laughs> was moved from the B&I Circus Store in Tacoma to the Atlanta Zoo, was introduced to a female gorilla for the first time in 30 years. <laughs> and he blew it. He blew it. <laughs> You know, she, she was not interested, you know, and that's, that's got to hurt. You know, 30 years and she says, sorry, you know, I got to go rearrange the cage, got to wash my hair, you know, I don't know. You know, I'm just thinking he may have come on too strong. You know, after, it's just a theory. After 30 years, he may have come on too strong, which, ironically enough, is what some people allege our governor has done. <laughs> it's, it's just, you know, was not Mike Lowry's best week. You know, it just really hasn't been. And in the midst of this controversy, you may have seen that he went on television and said that he apologizes to anyone he's ever made uncomfortable for any reason. <laughs> and we wondered who those people are, you know, who were, they were. So we hit the streets with our camera to find out what our governor has done to make people feel so uncomfortable. And I believe we have a tape okay, of that. How has Governor could... Lowry uh, uh, offended you? Well, one time I was trying to get on I-5, and he was in the car next to me, and I sped up, and he sped up, and he just cut me off. Well, he hogs all the nachos. Well, he rubbed up against me. Is that offensive enough? Lowry, rub it. Or it may have been Slade. Every morning, his dog craps on my parking strip. Do you think he cleans it up? And then, and then, and then he stole my tape deck right out of my car, right out of my car. Back in college, Mike was always crashing at our dorm room and he'd use my toothbrush. Oh. And then he shot President Lincoln! That's pretty offensive, don't you think? President Lincoln! <laughs> okay, well, I, uh, I hope that that clears everything up. You know, I think the thing about this whole thing is you, you just have to understand we need to know that there are good touches and bad touches. <laughs> and uh, this next guy certainly knows the difference between the two. Take a look.